What's up guys, Austin Numi here, coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere tutorial, and today we're talking about five things that you should know about inside Adobe Premiere Pro without any plugins or presets of any kind. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of those quick tips, but before we do, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button with post notifications on for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one. Let's go ahead and dive in. First up is a keyboard shortcut that I find incredibly valuable to anyone who's editing and needs to edit fast. But this is something that vloggers use every single day to edit their vlog so quickly. If you wanted to maybe scroll through this timeline here and let's say I stop right here, I wanna get rid of everything to the left of this cursor, but I don't wanna have to cut it right here, then delete it and then ripple delete and bring that to the beginning. Instead, what I can do is if I wanted to go right here, I want to cut everything to the left of this cursor, you hit Q on the keyboard and that ripple cuts it just like that, simple as that. And if I alternatively wanted to cut everything to the right and then bring this clip into my cursor, I would hit W. So that's Q and W. The next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is to create a motion blur right here inside Adobe Premiere Pro. So you're not gonna to have to go to After Effects anymore to get that motion blur every single time you move an item. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit of text as my demonstration here. So go over to your effects and look up transform. You'll find transform under video effects, distort and transform. Drag that onto your text file. Go up to your effect controls and now we're going to manipulate a few of the things inside the effect control. Scroll down to where you see transform properties. So I'm gonna have this text come from the left side of the screen and stop right here in the center. So I'm going to go in maybe about seven frames and I'm going to set a keyframe for the position under the transform properties. Go to the beginning of this clip here and set another keyframe and now we're going to move our text off screen. Now when you play it back, you'll see that it just kind of zooms in. Now if we want to add a motion blur to that, under here where it says use composition shutter angle, we're going to uncheck that and we're going to enter our own shutter angle value. So for a film look, usually you do the 180 degree shutter angle rule. So we're going to be doing 180 degrees just to get a really nice filmic look. And now it has a motion blur anytime it moves. Even if we wanted to zoom it up like this, it's going to have a motion blur when it moves. And just make sure you are using these transform properties instead of these properties up here or else it's not going to work. Another thing that we might go to After Effects for is a certain type of keyframe. Now, if we want to have a really nice smooth motion here, which this does look good with the motion blur, but let's get real. It moves from one speed to one speed. It's very static. It doesn't really feel like it's alive. So I'll go under my properties here. And what I wanna do is I wanna take these keyframes and ease them out a little bit. So I'll just select these keyframes like that, highlighting them, right-clicking, temporal interpolation, and we're gonna apply a Bezier keyframe on this. Now, for those of you who don't know what a Bezier keyframe is, it's going to essentially allow us to change the speed value of when this enters this spot right here and it, when it moves from this spot right here. So while I have these two selected here, next to position, you'll see a little arrow we can toggle down. We're gonna bring that down and now you'll see a couple of values right here with pick whips, I guess they're called. So we're going to zoom into this little area right here. We wanna create an arc and what that's gonna tell our system here is that it wants to start off slow, reach maximum speed right here in the middle and slow down coming into the final keyframe. So I'm gonna take this little first pick whip and drag that down. We want this to be even on this plane here. You see we're starting to kind of create an arc. Take the second pick whip and drag it down and now we are on an even playing field. So it's gonna start off slow and then ease into the next keyframe, just like that. So it looks a little bit more real than the other one. Now, if we wanna change one of the values of this, which I like to do a lot to my animations, is I want it to speedily start and then kind of ease very slowly into its position. We can do this by taking this little pick whip right here and dragging that to the left so it starts off really fast and eases in slowly to the next part. I'll show you what I mean, just like that. So that way it starts off fast and eases in a little bit. The next thing I'm gonna show you is a modifier key I use all the time inside this program. And if you don't know what a modifier key, it's when you hold down one key and then press another to get a certain action, such as Control, Alt, or Command, and click. These are things that you can use as modifier keys. So I'm gonna show you Alt Click, which is a very powerful tool that I use quite frequently. So if I have this clip selected, I hold down Alt and drag to the right, and that's duplicated this layer, just like that. The other thing you can use this for is if you wanted to get rid of just the audio, hold down Alt and delete or if you just wanted to modify one of these in particular. So if I wanted to shorten up the video and keep the audio the same length, so if I wanted to do like a, an L cut, for example, then I would just hold down Alt and drag, and that can modify one or the other clip while they're still linked together. 
For the final tip inside Adobe Premiere, I'm going to show you how to sync this footage of this H4n as well as my recorded onboard mic audio with the audio I recorded on the H4n at the same time. So I'm gonna show you how to sync both of these. You can see here. All right, so I'm syncing the audio. I made a little bit of a test video and I also recorded the same thing. All right, so I'm syncing the audio on my H4n. So I'm gonna sync both of these, very simple. I'm just going to highlight both of these, right click, synchronize, and you'll see here under audio, I'm just gonna go ahead and select that, okay, and you'll see it syncs the audio automatically. All right, so I'm syncing the audio right mute now. mute one of these. This is for demonstration purposes on how to sync this audio. And those are five things that will instantly up your editing game inside Adobe Premiere Pro. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a big like on this video. Subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one with post notifications on. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.